So I'm currently sleeping at this guy's place with his little kit and I found something cool in the toilet. Let me show you. All right, so here they have toilet paper, but inside the toilet paper there's this extra roll, which is just more toilet paper. But the cool thing is that on the one hand you save on shipping volume because you have more paper in the same amount. Plus you also don't need this extra cardboard roll inside which saves material. Makes sense. We're currently in a little village in the south of Chile and in this spot we're gonna set up a precious plastic workspace. Still some work to do. So we are getting the wood to build the container. One of the things I like about the precious plastic map is that you instantly see people all over the world that are excited recycling plastic. So this time we could use some help and uh, we found here Ismail who has a CNC milling machine uh, for wood. So he has a little workspace in here and he helped us out gathering some tools. And let me show you his place and how he works. He just finished the plate. Hola. So here they work with wood and here he has his machine. Hey! Hey Dave, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Oh, yeah. Plate is finished? Plate is finished. So this is gonna be the display inside the workspace for the windows and they look super nice. Yeah, so here he has his workspace, his computer and he has been a great help. I'm gonna carry the plate now. Yeah! What are we currently doing, Matia? We're currently waiting, as usual. <laughs> For how long have we been waiting? Well, now it's 8 hours and 32 minutes. But we could also say 7 days. Well, 7 days, 8 <laughs> hours and 32 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I am, uh, my the Italian instinct in me is coming out right now and I'm getting a bit yeah. pissed off because <laughs> I don't like waiting. <laughs> So we almost finished the workspaces. We still have some final things to do, like finishing the logo and cleaning up the outside. Um, and we got two different ones. One is about shredding and sorting the plastic, and one is where the machines are melting. And currently Joey is teaching women how to do that, and in here is Mattia teaching them how to shred and separate. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Hola. Okay. So we now build the machines and all the uh, system to sort and separate plastic. And we're now training the women on how to shred plastic and uh, 
we are actually testing how much plastic we can shred in an hour. So, yeah, that's uh, exciting. <laughs> cool. Paso de acá, recolecto toda la tapilla de, de café. Así van a salir. Ah, ok. Uh, so, in this part of the machine, you melt the plastic. It's like. Lo dejamos enfriar como 10 minutos. Ah, ya. Lo que es posible es que the, the outside is solid, but the inside still melts. Ah. So here we have our shredder machine, which is made by Peter Bas, our machine builder from the community in the Netherlands. And one of the main reasons for us to do pilots is to try out new things. So one of the things we did here is to make an easy removable mesh. So you can just take it out, uh, which makes it easy to clean, but also easy to swap if you want to use different sizes. So I'm going to try this one out here and gather some feedback. And this time we also bought a few molds on the bazaar to run this workspace. And Joey will tell a little bit about them because they're cool. Yeah, so we have this one from a guy in Colombia. It's quite tricky because you can put the screw directly in the mold and so you get the screw in your casting. So basically, when you open the mold, you get this. And then you have a hand donor, okay. Which looks like marble. Which looks like fucking precious marble. <laughs> and we got plenty in two hours. So it goes really quick. Yeah. Nice. We also have a mold from Andy in Great Britain for nice and cute spinning toys. Classic. Classic, but so playful. And this super ruler mold, shiny as hell. And this is what you get from a ruler. Now back to work extruding some beams with this goddamn extrusion machine. <laughs> So we just finished all the work and decided to spend a few days in the beautiful Patagonia. We just finished uh, 10 days of really intense work here in Puerto Varas and we are kind of done, more or less I would say. We build the workspace, build the machines. Teach people how to use it. Train the women how to work with the machines. Joy has been teaching them how to create beautiful products. Injection and, uh, master. <laughs> now we are. We came here to this amazing, beautiful park to relax a bit and enjoy the weekend in the incredible nature that Chile has to offer. So I guess the good thing is that there's not much plastic around here, right? <laughs> That's kind of hopeful. <laughs> yeah, not a good place for a precious plastic workspace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> finally, we found it. Yes. <laughs> and we'll be back here in half a year to see how it goes if we can provide any help. So, luckily we'll be back in this place. So, the project is called uh, Recaba. Uh, and if you're interested to follow up, check pics, updates, and see how the women are doing with the machines, uh, you should check Recaba. Uh, we put a link uh, underneath, and he puts a link in there. <laughs> and you can follow up on their, on their work with plastic and uh, cleaning up their environment and their neighborhoods here in uh, Chile.